A daily routine is actually one of the simplest things that you can build for yourself literally after watching this video and get a huge benefit in return. So the return on your time investment is actually astronomical if you sit down for an hour and really think about creating the perfect daily routine. Having this daily routine can actually help you a lot when getting things done. So your task list and the things that you want to do goes hand in hand with this daily routine, which tells you when you're going to do them. Also your habits, things that you're going to do recurringly, all fit into this daily routine. So in this video, I want to show you my daily routine and also walk you through step by step how you can create one yourself and give you some tips and tricks that will make it easier in the process. Also, I've included my Notion template for this down below so you can literally duplicate it and change it to your like. But you don't have to use Notion, you can use a piece of paper, you can use whatever you want, but just document it somewhere because most likely over time when you actually implement that daily routine, you're going to go back to it, review it and actually change it. So without further ado, I'm Ali and let's get right in. So this is the template that I will also include for you guys, but the template is actually super simple. So we're not going to explain the template rather really focus on creating the perfect daily plan. First things first, seven days a week, and we want to plan for all of that and not let our weekend just be a random thing that we don't have a plan for. Because actually on weekends, when you choose to actively do activities that you like, you will realize that you can actually fit in a lot more than you think. So basically, this daily plan can help you and give you more clarity. First thing that you see in this template is that each day has a focus. It gives you at one glance, what is your focus of the day? For example, for me, I have a nine to five job, right? And because of the current situation with Corona, I only need to go to work three days a week. I still work on the other two days, but I can choose which days I go in and hence create a routine around that. So as you see here, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are my work days and the days that I actually have to go to work. So a big chunk of my day will be my commute to work and so on and so forth. Mondays and Fridays, I work from home. I actually have extra time on my day because I don't have to commute. I don't have to take a long time for lunch, etc. Then I can focus on my side hustle or my self-development related topics. And then Saturdays and Sundays are YouTube focused and also just chilling, having a relaxed day. So let's start with Monday. As you see, the focus is side hustle, gym, and self-development. In my Mondays, because I don't have to commute to work, I can actually wake up and immediately think about self-development and start reading my book. So for example, I wake up at seven. And by the way, you can open these toggles to see the number of tasks or the things that you need to do. If you like, you can come here and take him off day by day. I don't do this anymore. And that's because after a while, when you actually implement this for yourself, it becomes second nature. But I do still recommend putting them in in the first place because it gives you clarity. And also, for example, I added icons to make it look pretty. So next step, breakfast. I have my breakfast is basically cooking the breakfast. Also having it around 30 minutes. I think that's enough. And then from 8 to 8.30, I can read a book. So I do that for 30 minutes, but you can also see that from 8.30 to 9, I have a buffer slot. The reason for this is sometimes I like to meditate in the mornings or sometimes the book gets so exciting or it's a really interesting part that I don't want to stop at 30 minutes. So I continue reading that book for let's say an hour. And that's why these buffer slots, which you will see a lot during my daily plan, gives me flexibility to actually make it a lot more personalized to me because no two Mondays or Tuesdays or Wednesdays are the same, even for me, even if you have the perfect structured daily routine. So these buffer slots actually allow you to play around those limitations. Then at nine o'clock on every single day, you can see my deep work creative slot. This slot is actually for doing work that needs you to be in the flow state. And I usually have multiple different types of tasks, shallow, deep, and heavy lift, which I also explained in my second brain video. If you haven't watched, you can go and watch it right up here. But basically the 9 a.m. slot is for focused work. So I actually only focus on my deep works or a chunk of my heavy lift work because those need me to be focused, be present and in flow state. That happens till 12, three hours of really focused work. It's actually a lot more important than what you think. So really sitting down and doing the work 
even if I take a break in the middle, have a coffee or whatever, will get a lot of my tasks on my task list done. Whereas previously, before having a daily routine or a task or second brain, etc., I just sat down to do work, but I never actually did proper work. I did some planning. I did some shallow work. I did some stuff that didn't really matter. At the end of the day, I always had my task list there with like 12 tasks that I didn't even do. Also, if you see here, I put the word creative for my nine o'clock, even on the days that I commute to work, I have creative slots. And the reason for that is that even at my job, I do need my creative flow state. So I actually try to not schedule any meetings in the mornings. In fact, if you even look at my timetable at work, you can see that I block off focus times at work so that I don't have to actually have meetings or other people bothering me when I actually need to focus on my work. Then 12 o'clock is lunchtime. I take an hour. I basically have my lunch. Sometimes I listen to fictional books. Sometimes I watch a Netflix episode. It's quite flexible. I pick and choose what I feel on the day. Then again, from one till four is my deep work organizational hours, which means I sit down and do work, but this time it's more about organization stuff, meetings, replying to emails, doing small shallow tasks and things that don't need me to be super focused and in an actual flow state. At four is get to gym. I go to the gym. It takes me 15 minutes to get there. I do my gym exercise around an hour and a half. I get home, I have a cold shower, have my protein shake. Then from 6.30 is basically my fun and chill. I can chill for an hour. I can do whatever I want. I sometimes play games. I go on social media. I play my musical instrument, my handpan, or I play PlayStation, etc. And then 7.30 is my dinner time. And in this time slot, 7.30 till 8.30, I actually listen to a podcast, which I've been religiously listening to the past two or three months. And that's Diary of CEO by Steven. And I actually love doing that on my Mondays. And that's one of the reasons I call this self-development days, because I read my book. I actually listen to the podcast that is really important to me. And I have time slots actually allocated to consuming content that I love. Then, as you see, from 8.30 till 10.30 is basically, again, a buffer. Sometimes I do some extra work if there is more left. Sometimes I just chill. Sometimes I can watch a movie with my girlfriend. Sometimes I go for a walk. I can learn a new skill or basically script one of these videos. 10.30 is my sleeping routine. I brush, I take my pills, and I listen to fictional books. And yeah, recently I've been re-listening to Harry Potter from start. So it's actually really interesting and it's a super long series anyway. So I listen to it 30 minutes every night and it actually puts me right to sleep. Sometimes if I don't feel like a story, I listen to sleep meditations such as Headspace. And by the way, if you're interested in meditation and how has that worked out for me? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll make a video about Headspace versus Calm or what actually helped me because I was super skeptical towards meditation, but I tried to include it in my routine here and there. Then 11 o'clock is lights out and we're done. That's my Monday. So basically what I wanted to do so far was just to give you an idea of what is possible for your daily routine. Of course, your daily routine would be different depending on your job, depending on what you do in your day, if you have kids or not, and so on and so forth. The point that I want you to take from this video is that you should spend some time and actually define this, right? When you define this for yourself, you will get a lot of clarity as to what your week can look like. And of course, this is in theory, this is you imagining how your week can look like. Your week will usually look a lot more different than this. Sometimes there's things that are popping up. There are some tasks that take longer than the slots that you've allocated them to. And it doesn't mean that you should beat yourself up if you don't completely stick to the plan. But having a general rough plan still helps a lot in knowing when you're going to get your tasks done. And on top of that, even more important than that, then you can actually look at your goals and values and the tasks that you need to do and make time slots for them right? I know a lot of people that have problems with doing their tasks and habits at the same time. And usually they either focus on the habits, only go into the gym, but they don't get any of their tasks done, or they get a lot of tasks done 
for example, to run a business or something, but they don't get to their habits. And that's because they are bad at time management. I was also bad at time management. I was exactly like this. So I ignored going to the gym for like two years. I got fat. I saw the consequences of it. But when I sat down and actually made time for it, I have literally time to go to the gym five times a week. No problem. I can still get to my tasks. I can still get to the other things that are important to me even though I have a nine to five job. So these are excuses that we give ourselves. And I've already made a video about this up here, which you can see, it talks about the excuses we give ourselves and the reason that, for example, we haven't gone online yet, started that business or whatever else it is. So if you have really given this excuses to yourself ever, I strongly recommend be honest with yourself, go watch that video and see if you can improve it. But yeah, a couple of final tips for you. I actually made this color coded, made it look quite nice. I look at it every quarter uh, when my routine usually changes because my goals for that quarter change. So if you watch my second brain videos, you know that I have quarterly goals. And every quarter that I basically change my goals, I come back to my daily routine and I change my daily routine to match those goals and actually put in those new habits or tasks or things that I need to do. Apart from that, everything is color coded. So it gives me at one glance, I can see, oh, okay, I need to go gym at four, or I need to go have fun at 6.30, or I basically need to do work at nine. And I also strongly recommend you download the template, which I include down below. And with that template, then you will get exactly my timetable and you can go and change it and change the daily routine to the way that you like it. My final tip, if you're actually going to pull the plug and create this daily routine for yourself and use my template, is that focus on what works for you. You shouldn't copy all the things that are here in my daily routine. This is just an example. What you should do is to think about, maybe make a list of all the things that you're interested in doing every week from your hobbies, from the fun that you want to have, from your routines, and basically what type of a person you are in your week, and then try to put them in these time slots in your day. And also don't beat yourself if your daily routine looks really different from what you imagined after you did this exercise. And that exactly happened to me. I was like, oh, I'm never gonna get to all these tasks and all these things that I put in my week. But actually, after I implemented it and iterated my daily routine, so for example, what you see here is probably the 10th iteration of my daily routine. I then saw that slowly over time, I actually stuck to my daily routine a lot better. And when things popped up, I put these buffer slots in there so that I'm more flexible. And even if my buffer slots were not enough for me to actually deal with these unknown things that pop up during my week, then I wouldn't beat myself up. That's fine. We try again next week. As simple as that. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you take some value from it. Um, let me know down below if you do go create your daily routine. In fact, you can even share it with me. I would love to see other people's daily routines and actually also learn from them. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And also please leave a like and subscribe. You know, my channel is up and coming and your like and subscribe goes really far for actually recommending this channel to other people. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.